Next time I'm just gonna play Super Flight for like four hours. This game... Ha! That's why I wanted to play King, because like, you know what? I'm ready for a harder challenge. And then the game's like... I'm gonna cheat. And, and here's the thing, if we were playing on normal difficulty, we'd still have a hard time because my civilization had to deal with a siege of barbarians threatening to destroy us. And then Poland, they have no actual reason to be going to war with us. They actually have no re they have no actual reason. And yet, are they a warmonger? No, they actually aren't. No, in, in what the game is meant to be, they'd be like, rah, 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 rah. they actually have no reason to be going to war with us. I don't know what reason the game thinks they gave them. But they just like, ah, oh, we're gonna go to war with you. Like, there's no, there's no reason. There's no reason. And I'm mad about it, because it's, it's, it's stupid. Like, can I not, I don't even have irrigation yet. What if I fucking have, I don't have mining yet, so I can't get the amber. But we'll, we'll, we'll prep for that, because that's what we're gonna do. I can, I can still turn this around. I don't think I can win, but I can at least, I can at least live. Oh no, we need more housing. What a surprise. I can't focus on housing because we're in a war. We're dying here. Truffles? Yeah, I, I just got the truffles. You, you, you see when I got the truffles? more credit than the wife ever called. Do, 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 are you aware of that? Because I just did that on stream, right in front of your eyes. Right in front of your damn eyes. And it's even stupider where it's like, hey, you know how we have this big fucking war going on against an enemy that's more powerful than we could ever imagine. Yeah? Here's a barbarian encampment which is more powerful than you could ever fight. Like, come on! Come on! <laughs> Every time I play Civ 6, it fucks me. Every time. Spears! Iron! That's what we need. We need like one of those lucky situations where you've already built a mine on iron or something. This is all the same continent. Actually, this is a different continent. No, it's not. We need to find a different continent so we can use our, like, racial ability. Kill, kill, kill. Once again, we have the opportunity to enhance our powers of governance. We can I don't know what that fucking means. But that's a good idea, because we're having some culture stuff going on. But I kind of want to go with this right now, where we can just actually have some military stuff going on. Yeah, let's do this. Let's actually have. We're gonna turn it the fuck around. Plexistan. We're gonna have this fucking it was warlord like here. Air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear. And we still don't have a new go go government, even though we totally should. The campus in Plexistan is one of those things where that actually makes sense for a era thing. But one of the other one where it's like, okay, now it's just going to be anything we do. It's like, no, why does that count? That shouldn't count. This place is still fucking unhappy, and I can't, I can't even do a coliseum because I can't build an arena because I need an entertainment complex, which I can't fucking build because it would take too fucking long. We need a trade route. I don't really want to waste my money on it, but... We can build another archer, which is genuinely a good idea. I might wait until bronze working's done and just buy a fucking spearman. And also buying traders is sometimes good, but... You know what? No. We're building the royal dockyard. Why, why aren't we? Just fucking do it. It's a special, unique, Ollie only thing, but it's gonna make us the kings of this world. We're gonna bring this back. We are going to be the best around, and no one is gonna get me down. No matter how hard Poland tries, you know what, we might not win this game, but we're gonna destroy Poland. We're gonna destroy them. We're gonna absolutely take them around the back and just shank them. And, and hopefully this is the back area right here. You don't need orders. Build an amber mine. 
All right, now we're starting to have some actual happiness because we've actually had time to invest on resources. Tech boosted to wheel. We found a village owned by a friendly tribe. Can you can you actually go there though? That would really appreciate it. Carthage. We're getting actually. You know what we can do to turn this game around? Focus on city states. It's it's a it's a genuine like plan. Open borders? No. Why would I ever want that? Can you just actually give me fucking money? No, I'm not giving you money. I'm not scared. I don't give a fuck about you. You you basically don't exist to me. Like, you don't matter. I don't know if you've realized that you don't matter, but you don't matter. You know? Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of a slightly risky play while Poland rebuilds. We're gonna prepare for some murder house up here. Do we want two Royal Navy dockyards? More- Okay, uh, I mean, can you actually not do that? Why would you ever do that? Um, it would give us more points, era points. It would uh, create more gold, create more loyalty. What does the government plaza even do? It creates more loyalty and adds more government governor tiles, which I believe give you more points towards governing. Uh, that's a whole thing. Um, I think I'm gonna go with another Royal Navy dockyard, and then we're gonna like focus so hard on navy later on. It's gonna be just bitching. And then we're probably gonna put an, a district here at some point to kind of like counteract everything. Actually, keep that guy around, because we're going to discover iron in a turn. You're going to give me this? Are you, is this what they're trying to say? They're going to give me this, this gold for peace? Because I don't want to be confused that they're trying to say, Hey, you give me peace. You give me gold. This is them giving me gold. I'm, I'm okay with that, because that gives me time to build. We'll, 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 we'll find a reason to kill them later. I'm sure of it. Or, oh, actually no. Now we're starting to actually get proper resources. We don't need gold right now. You know what? You know what? Let them fucking run. Come up with a better deal, mate. We're starting to turn it around. We might be in a Dark Ages now, but we're going to be in not a Dark Ages soon. Maybe. I'm also interested. Nice. Look at that. We're getting getting room to, to build. Now, this guy's probably dead. Iron is there. There's no iron here. There's iron there. That totally can be in our sieve. Uh, where's the increase border button? We can do that. That's worth it. Because you only need, like, one iron for, like, most things at the start of the game. Where's our builder? Head off down this way. Gonna have to defend it from barbars, but they have no home now, so... I don't really care. Now need two of any resources? It used to be you only need one gold. Here it says you only need one gold. So we'll see, I guess. Hopefully that's just like not true. If not, then we might have to build like a fucking city down here that's focused on resources. Or trade for iron. Now that we're actually starting to get some cultural resources. Yeah, but can you not, though? Why are you doing that to me? 
I just killed your entire race. And now you're like, eh, but actually... Like, why would you do that? Do, do you not, not acknowledge that I am in charge here? I'm large and in charge? Can we just build a fucking galley? Can we just build a fucking galley? And we can just build a spearman. That's what I wanted. I mean, I you can embark. You, like, I got the ability for you guys to embark a long time ago, my dude. It's like one of the first ones. <laughs> this would be horrible to settle down here, but we might do it. I mean, copper's pretty good. That's like focused on resources, right? So... Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's one of those things where if these guys are coastal, we can smush them with the navy. They kind of aren't, but if they have a coastal city, we'll, we're actually just going to smush it. When, we, when, when we've had given a little bit of time to build. I want better. Soz, give me a city. Okay, see ya. You, you want peace. I mean, now, now you're scared. You used all your big boys. You used all your mercs. And now it's, you don't want that. And that's okay. But I'm going to kill you. I'm going to destroy you, your entire civilization in a, in, a, in a fell swoop. As is the saying. I just used all my money. Didn't I? Like an idiot. Rip. I mean... You actually already told me that scouting units can embark. Or is it builders that can embark? That's stupid. And just fucking explore. Just explore. Just get, just get out there. How did you get in this situation? How did you get there? You're stupid. You're stupid, man. And I don't appreciate it. Alright. We're gonna get this iron and that's gonna change the game. We might lose a scout. You know, oh, he just got murdered to death. There's barbarian spearmen down there, and I kind of don't want to deal with that. Government unlocked! Okay. You know when I said we were going to focus on science? Ooh. I'm going to do oligarchy. Diplomatic slot? Can we put... Where do we put these guys? They can only go in wild, slot, wild card slots. That's actually fine for us right now. We can turn it off later. We don't actually want to expand right now. And when we do want to expand, we can throw it away. No, I'm going to go with Charismatic Leader. Uh, do we need that anymore? That still looks good. Well, actually, where's the Navy one? Go ahead. Make my day. We're an oligarchy, a new political age. Now we're using a dark policy. It was an envoy. Well, we kind of like our envoys. This creates a, 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 a theater square. I don't know. Let's go mysticism, mysticism. Uh, lighthouse. But I also just want to build an actual galley real quick. Just to scout with. 
Won't take very long. An oligarchy. Exactly. It's it's too obvious. You can't not. I mean you can not. Yeah, you, why, why the price went up, excuse me? You can't do that. We might be able to get a golden age. This is one of those things where I totally should of Thousands have accepted peace, but I don't want to. Mysticism is the mistake of it. We might do that later. Uh, Alyssa Lindbergh, can you build a trader real quick? So we don't have one, and we have a bonus boat focused on trading. We want, we want the catapult. We want the catapult. So we're going for the wheel, and we can start going towards catapults. Send envoy to... That's annoying, because we don't have any of these things. We don't have any of these things! We're going to go with this, because we will eventually do that, I think. And Antonok is real quick, close, right? Antonok's pretty far away. Resist just straight up gives us a bonus. Rulers of Carthage rule. They bow to us. And look at this. We are going to have a golden age next era. We, got, we, we, we may have gone to darkness. But now, just like, stop going up more every turn. Things get more expensive over time. They shouldn't get more expensive every turn. That doesn't make sense. It shouldn't get expensive every turn. That's not how it actually works, my dude. My dude. My dude, that's not how it works. Don't try and tell me that's how it works, because it ain't. It ain't how it works. Ooh, Carthage! They're probably not going to actually do anything, but they might give me units occasionally, which is actually super valuable. There we go. Iron. Badass. We can get iron pretty soon. I have another, uh, another city up here, but annoyingly we kind of have to... What is this shit? What have they built here? Oh, don't reinvent the wheel. The first galley to roam the seas! Yes, exactly. Roam the seas, the bee's knees. And we want the catapult. And Aquadar is pretty useful, but we want the catapult so that we can actually, like... We can, we can siege, you know? We can Rainbow Six this shit. And then we do want a lighthouse. If we're gonna go military, we might as well go military. You know. And we probably actually should build an encampment in the city at some point, but you know, it's not it's not unnecessary right now. You, 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 you see my boat? It's a scary boat, huh? It's right there. Right there, I got a boat, bitch. That's not a problem. In fact, that's so little of a problem, we could send someone to deal with it. But we're not gonna. You can't, you can't hurt us. We're on the other side of a, of a wall and we have Carthage there. We'll be actually fine. Do we 
want to build an encampment? Let me just check. <sighs> hmm. That's like actually worth it, but is way expensive. Way expensive. Way expensive. Hopefully this city is by the sea, so we can just like pew, 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 pew. We can just blow it up. Blow it up. Carthage is is fighting a good fight, fighting some barbars, doing the good shit. We're not gonna we're not gonna complain. Alright. Now that we got Poland running. I'm a lot happier about the situation. The natural history of this archipelago found a Galapagos. is very remarkable. It seems to be a little world within itself. That's good. Um... I mean, that is good. Uh, now that we aren't, like, all depressed, our civilization's doing a little bit better. Takes a, gonna take a long time to go around the world to find them. Ah, we can't even because of these guys. Ah, it's annoying that our navy tech might not help us. But maybe we can get around the world. Maybe. If it scares them, then that's good. We want to scares them. Which means we might not want the lighthouse. Because what does the lighthouse do? What does the lighthouse do? More trade routes. Housing, citizen slots, great admiral points. Like, it's actually worth it. It's actually worth it. Destroy the lateral landmark and build a stopping center there? Yeah, one day. Is that mill no, that's their city, but the city walls and everything. Loyalty is going up, though, which is great. When it comes to the next era, we're going to be great, but I kind of want to have this war in this era. Can't do anything because of this fish man. Can we trade for open borders? You're friendly, so thanks, man. Cause if we can go around the world via his borders, that'd be super nice. Let's not we could build the pyramids here! We can build the pyramids. We can build the pyramids there. Or we could build a market. No, we actually can't. Ha! Uh, we should probably build this, though, because we haven't done that yet. Or a water mill. We should probably build a library, just because we haven't actually built a library yet. I mean, I know we should be building military units, but we're not doing that right now. Excuse me? An unmade city-state has been defeated. I don't like that. Carthage is, is on the way to the war with Poland, and I'm okay with it. But this is a big old fucking... What is this? They're building something. Okay. Cool. Please tell me I can go across the world. That'll make me very happy. Great Pyramids of England. We're not doing the Great Pyramids of England. Although, 
We like we could do the Great Pyramids of England. But I feel like more tech. Or just warriors. <laughs> No, there's not much flat tile there, so chariots is not actually even a good idea. We're going to do that, and then we'll maybe do more warriors, and then maybe we'll do the Great Pyramids of Eng England later on. I know just one of the ways to just do well in this game is just to build wonders constantly, and that's okay, but we're not doing that right now. No... Exactly, you gotta start before it's too late. And that's what I'm doing with science now, just just in case. Because we aren't really focusing on that here, and Plexistan, I think, has better construction skills, and also has the military man. Hey, can you give me your city, though? Yeah, see ya. You just know, because I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to smash. To smash Poland. Oh, wonders, you gotta start before it's too late. Eh. It isn't gonna take that long. You, mm. you know what? Great Pyramids of England. Great Pyramids of England. We'll try. If not, it still gets, like, recycled anyway. Why is that such a major defeat? Oh, I didn't know warriors were good against anti-cavalry units. I keep forgetting that spearmen are anti-cavalry units because it, it, it almost seems like they're just, like, meant to be this, just, like, better units. But that well. Even if this does end up going to Poland, it's going to take so long, it's, like, not worth it. Which is funny. But, you know, we're exploring the world, so it's worth it. Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. That's a really good idea. The mausoleum and Hasa blah 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 blah. So that's like super useful. That's super useful. So we don't need naval stuff yet. But honestly, we just go back to this. Forty turns. Like that's also a good idea, but I I need I need military though. <laughs> I do. White House is worth it, so we're gonna have another trade route. Good stuff, good stuff. Where does this go? Where does this go? Bandits. Okay. <laughs> Peace talks of Poland? Yeah, we just, they, they're not real. It's all a lie. Don't, how dare you try and build wonders. Don't fucking move the camera away if you're going to fight me. Like, actually have some honor, but also I'm running away. Yeah, I just can't fight these warriors. That's stupid. I thought Spearmen were better against warriors, but I guess that's just actually entirely incorrect on my end. What just happened? Something just happened. I don't know what it was. Something just happened. I don't know what. I don't know if I want this deal because something just happened. Oh, okay.
Pakistan needs more amenities. We need a builder. But the Great Pyramids will build a builder, so it's actually okay. No, we just we just keep leading them. Just keep leading them back. Eventually they'll get bored. Blue Boy is building a lot. Keep lead keep on leading. Keep on leading the Polish warriors. If we do this very slowly, we'll eventually kill like their entire civilization. Encampment, sure. Like, I totally should do an encampment, shouldn't I? I know it's just more things like, oh, I thought you said you're building an army, but like, the encampment will help me build the army. <laughs> so, you know, it'll 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 work in the end, in theory. And we can buy an army, you know. Oh, pound maker, you nearly gave me a worry there. Normal people believe that. Now that's important. Now we have catacult, cat, cat, catapults. We can actually consider a battle. You, you can consider a siege when catapults are in play. Uh, absolutely, we can cre recruit this guy. He just increases loyalty, which is like, why not? Why not just like chill here for a while? Oh, I mean, that's if we retire him. Well, you know, we don't need the Great Admiral yet, but... We might need you later. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I, I I didn't know how battering rams worked. <gasps> you can make it to Poland for, through this. Gasp. It was worth it in the end. Give me this city. Okay, goodbye. I don't care anything else. I just want to beat Poland. There's its little bitch city that we can probably siege. Because it doesn't have walls. But I do want to see if this city has... It's coastal! Okay, we're going to fight Rokwaloi right now because we can. But we can actually send naval units to Poland. It's going to take so long, but it's possible. That's so funny. We totally like should, but we, we won't. But we totally should, but we won't. Ah, you got archers! Where'd you get them? Oh well. We'll spook them a bit, I guess. I thought they did wouldn't couldn't defend themselves because they didn't have walls, but they still they still can, I guess. And annoyingly, I can't rebuild this ship. It's just gonna stay injured forever. So we just gotta like save it until we siege. But getting back to our land is 13 fucking turns, so we're just actually gonna sleep it. And what we could do at some point is buy another galley. And then send that with our great lady, with our great person. And then these guys will actually be semi-competent. 
don't really want to do that, though. We could buy warriors. Like, it's possible. I mean, that was satisfying, but kind of pointless. It's gonna take so long to build this thing. The Lord made us all out of iron. Then he turns up the heat. How much is a is a swordsman? We do need two iron. Rip. Which means we kind of need to settle down here. But that's right near where some barbars are, so we can't do that until we've had the war. Ah! I mean, I want to send a delegation to you. Um. But also, you don't have iron, which is annoying. Uh, they're super annoying. Why is it, why did it take two iron? It's so hard to get one. I guess it makes it, it'll make it super OP if we can get it. <gasps> Crossbowman. Quadream. Naval ranged. Horsemen just like better than warriors because that's our issue right now. Ah. We need to get the, the thing where you can change away from having the settler thing because then we could maybe like save up and buy a settler. I mean, you used to be able to buy settlers. Can you not anymore? No? Okay. Because one you could. Ah! Oh, what a fucking surprise. What are you doing, Poland? What are you doing? Pakistan needs more homes. Well, hopefully the military base will create more homes. Sort of. Kind of. I don't know. I think I just want, like, a big old land siege. <sighs> I would... I really want more iron, though. But then you, not only do I have to go here, I don't have to buy or build a builder to do it. Now, admittedly, I could save one of the guys from here, but that's like an entire fucking journey they have to go to here, to settle here, like in this area, probably there. Um, it's just a long, long time. I don't think it'd be worth it, but it would be worth it, but I want to focus on this war, but this will make the war easier. I think I'll end up doing that. <laughs> In the end. The hard decisions. The hard decisions. That's exactly what what's going on. She's asking for peace, but she's like, hey, I'm still gonna try and attack you. It's like, nah. Give me your fucking cities. But I, now, I, I I'm, I'm playing the long game here. You know, I'm playing the long game. I just... I just entirely forgot that spearmen are actually not what they say they are, you know? I always think that, hand. um, uh, change policies straight up in countment districts, please, because this is taking forever. Um, it, it makes, like, from, from what, you know, Lodge, even though it says that, you know, oh, they're better against it, I, I always forget that, like, oh, they're also worse against everything else. It almost doesn't make sense. But it does make sense. It almost doesn't. I have too much on my plate. I do, as always. You know, I thought I'd get away from the real world by playing some Civ, and now Civ's like, oh, I also need to do this, and 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 it just keeps on going. And it's certainly not showing. I forgot to change the... 
I forgot to change the dark policy. I can't make settlers. I forgot to change the dark policy. I forgot to change the dark policy. I forgot it. And now it's locked in, even though it shouldn't lock in. I haven't I haven't ended my turn yet. Why is it locked in? It hurts. It hurts. It hurts everything a lot. <sighs> Genuine pain. Genuine pain. Keep that in mind, my dudes. They have a lot of fucking spearmen and bowmen. Uh, swordsmen. That might be what we do. We save to levy their military. How long does it take to get there? Take what? Oh, no, because you've got to go around the world. No, that's not true. So you go like this. Or like that. And then we fucking sieged them. That's what we do. All right, new plan. New plan. New plan, my dudes. New plan. It's better than the old plan. soon we'll have the Great Pyramids of England, which is nice. The Great uh, Pyramids of Alyssa Lindbergh. Yes. I forgot the city-states have wicked powerful militaries and it's totally worth. And if we could actually get these guys, because they're on that side of the world, that'd be super useful. Um, we can name this archer that now defends our city. I don't know if we want to name units after people or what, but we'll see. They're worried about their religion. Their religion's waning. Give me this boy. Give me your son. I will not rest until it is mine. Yes! The classical era ends in ten turns. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm way above my limit right now. I've got a limit breaker going on. One turn until the pyramids of England are nearly done. We're going to guard like this little pass again. Because this is where we're going to go. We're going to just swarm this city and then that city. Uh, we should probably have sent this guy here to increase this military capacity. But, you know, we're going to take this guy home for now. Uh, it's worth healing him up if we can. It, it, you know, we've, we've got the transferable stuff if we can. Uh, this guy really likes us, so maybe we could ask him for an alliance? You know what? From the height of these pyramids, mm. 40 centuries mm, mm, look down mm, 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 mm. Look at the pyramids, I built the pyramids. Look at the pyramids, I built the pyramids. Who built the pyramids? All I built the pyramids. Look at that shit. Oh, we got some nice little trees. That's what we do this. You do want me to do these. Housing, citizen slots, all that stuff. And you know, you know what, there's, there's some logic to it. Uh, hey, we just base up um, gold and great admiral points. That's kind of cool. Um, new trader. Then I'm gonna make you like, just build shit, Alyssa Lindbergh. Just build my armies for me. And maybe even a little bit of a navies. You know, we, we, we can see, we can see. Maybe. We've got the great naval person and we can get across the world. It's gonna take a long time. Gold tipped? Yeah, maybe. I, I only, I don't get out of bed for something that ain't gold tipped, you know? It's important. This should deal with the happiness problem. 
And that's just a bonus resource to help us grow, right, rice? But we should probably invest in that. And maybe get rid of his marsh, because it slows people down. Oh, actually, we should finish. We should fix this pasture and make finish this pasture. We haven't even pastured this yet. Can you believe that? I almost can't believe that. Give me your son. I will just take it from you. I don't even want the bourgeoisie over here. I want Roclaw, but I'm gonna destroy this one first. Well, actually, no. We probably should try and destroy this one first if we can with navy. What's this? I don't give a fuck. I didn't open that. Also provides housing, which is pretty nice. And there we go. Our unhappiness problems are actually dealt with in one fell swoop. I can't wait to levy the military and just point it towards Poland to be like, yes. Because here's the thing. Even when we lose control, if we put them in Poland, they should fight Poland, right? That's the sweet thing. That's the sweetness, the sweet, sweet, raspberry sweetness of Ollie. It's it's gonna be I good. Imagine any condition which and we can build a quad dream. That's a good idea. Cartography, so we can do a caravel. Uh, faster is a melee naval unit. We still don't we still don't have currency and I kinda do want to actually have a market in Alyssa Lindbergh, so we should do that. Uh production wise. Ugh. Aqueduct. We need more we don't need more housing yet. This would be genuinely good. Like genuinely good, but it's forty turns. Poor dream. Oh, we don't have walls yet. If we're gonna start a wall, we need a war, we need walls. It's just logic. And that's just, that's like our little spy over there. I know it's not a spy because spies are actually a mechanic, but it's, 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 it's gonna, it's basically a spy. Like, you, you come on. I come on. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, we want those walls just so, you know, it's a thing. The farm is just gonna provide more food and housing. Worth it. And then, um... Yeah, we'll trade with him. We, we want him to like us. Antinoch just gives us a ton of gold, though. We like Antinoch. And a road going that way actually might have its own uses. Just fucking alert. Come on, dude, 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 dude. Lighthouse, but I want to build a fucking uh, quandream here. Six turns. It's worth it. Because then we can have our navy bonuses in the war against Poland, the inevitable, necessary war against Poland. Hey, they're willing to give us iron. That's funny because I need the iron. They have they have two iron. Shit. Fuck. Oh no. Hey, give us this. Oh no. Uh, we need to escalate this war real quick. Uh... Come on, come on, come on. Money, money, money. <laughs> Oh no, they're gonna start sending swordsmen's. Oh, Hatutsa is their place. We should really take that from them, but they're... They already got something going on. I don't care about them giving me uh, Buddhism. That's actually fine to me. Uh, I also have no real issue with you right now. Okie dokie. I really, I, I, I always like just hold off on that they're, they, they're coming. They're taking the long way around though, which is interesting. But I, I'm saving up for me levying the military because it's worth it. And also having city walls here is just actually worth it because they're going to siege. I think they're going to siege and then when they 
they give up on that siege, that's when we take them. Also, now we can embark our, the, our units into the sea. I don't know when we could start got that, because I'm very unclear of that in this version of Civ. But, um, that's super fucking valuable. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, excuse me, you don't get to- you don't get to ignore me like that, you bitch. They're doing more settlements? It's insane. Wealth consists not in having great possessions. I imagine not having horseback riding is slowing us down on something else. Eh, more knights and military training and stuff, but we should probably get it out of the way. Or upgrade to crossbowmen and just bully them with our ranged weaponry. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, we're so close to being able to levy that military, that's only like a couple more turns. And then we're gonna send these, this, th these two, with their navy, uh, their admiral, across the ocean, and it's gonna be sweet. That was badass. Can you do that again? Do a flip. Oh no, they have their own navy people. Uh, no, give me your son. I mean, to be fair, I could, like, offer them, like, a little bit of gold and also get their son, but I just want their son. This is one of my things where I totally should have taken that, uh, their piece, like, a while ago. But you know what? We're just gonna... We're gonna go on it. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Why else would you have it if you don't go for it? When's the next era? Your empire is heading towards bankruptcy? No, it's not! You're just actually wrong though, mate. Can you at least like actually tell truths, please? My dude. We're not heading Rejoice. towards bankruptcy. Our dark age has ended, and our civilization is on a path towards an even Great news. Our Golden Age! All right, so the golden age means uh, we have more loyalty, we have more dedications, which give us more bonuses. Um, we're actually in a heroic age. So, we can make three. So, movement for all builders. We can burn it, but buy people with faith. Don't really, it doesn't really matter. Uh, more culture for every specialty di district. Why wouldn't you? Uh, movement for all missionaries. Uh, uh, Eureka's get more stuff, so honestly we probably do this. Cause we don't, we don't actually don't do religion, so it doesn't matter. That's awesome. What are they doing? Why are they going below us? I would be worried if I wasn't so amazing. And now we don't even have the dark slots anymore, which is fine. Uh, wildcard policies. I think I just want great general points. Uh, no, great scientist points, that's gonna be way more useful. We're not really focusing much on science right now. Uh, look at everything looks so happy now. Because we're in a golden age. 
And the, the like, points we had before, like, stack into the They're just going past us, which is pretty worrying. Which is actually fine by me. Don't ever tell me that's a bad thing. Or don't ever let me a think it's a bad thing. Is not a provocation to war. It is the surest guarantee of peace. I don't actually care about that right now. Like, great, we have that. But, um, it's not important. We have one more use of this guy. What do we want? Honestly, just a mine here? It'll probably get built over at some point, but I think it's a good idea. It's funny that that is technically our land. And the next turn, we rally the army. You want me to build a barracks, but I also want to just finally fucking build... <gasps> But the barracks will mean make my swordsman better, so we gotta do it. Wait a minute. Eh, we gotta do it. It's just more armies. It's just more armies if we can get that going. 